Shalom Saints. Shalom, Shalom, and how are you all doing today? I greet you all once again with the special peace of our Lord Jesus Christ. I hope you are doing well. Oh, it's seven of us here. I say shalom to all of you. I say hi. I say hi. Hello. How are you? Good day, Jolene. Good day. Good day. Good day, Just King. Good day to everybody. Wherever you are, shalom. Good morning to wherever you are. Hi. It's afternoon here in the UK. Um, saints. Um, have posted a video on the page, but the live stream has nothing to do with the message I have um, posted earlier on my page. So the title of the live stream for today is Receive the Blessings of God. And the scripture, it's found in a book of Proverbs chapter 10 verse 22. So Proverbs chapter 10 verse 22 and it reads the blessings of the Lord it maketh rich and he addeth no sorrow with it. Meaning what? That the blessings of God they come without sorrow. They come without pain. If there is anything in your life that looks like a blessing, that you feel that you're in the presence of the blessings of God, but you have pain, you have sorrow, and you're not enjoying it, then that is not the blessing of God. It is a distraction from Satan, from the enemy, so that you will focus on the counterfeit and you will not understand that you have not yet been the recipient of God's blessings. So saints, once again, I read from Proverbs 10, verse 22. And it says, the blessing of the Lord, he maketh rich and he addeth no sorrow with it. So I don't know what it is in your life that you are holding on to, that you are protecting at all costs. That although you feel so much pain trying to hold on to it, whether you are toiling day and night to keep it, I don't know. But God is saying to you today, that is not my blessing. That is the counterfeit. Because the things of God come without toil. When God gives a man something, there is no conditions attached to it. There is no sorrow, there is no pain, there is no uh, affliction that goes with it. And some of you listening to me today, you have things in your life that you think that those are blessings from God, but they are not. And I am so sorry for being the bearer of bad news. But it is rather that you wake up today. And realize that those things that do not they do not come from God, so that you can begin to pursue God for His what He has for you. So, saints, I don't know what it is that you have been having in your possession for years, decades, including even people, relationships that you've been holding on to. You depend on them, you rely on them. But God Almighty is here to say to you this afternoon, that is not my blessing. If you are suffering, if it makes you suffer, if it brings you pain, if you cannot sleep at night and you have no peace, that is not my blessing. That is the counterfeit. Because the things that God bestows, the blessings that the Almighty God bestows upon people, they don't bring pain. They don't bring sorrow. Perhaps you are in a relationship and you believe that that relationship, that person is God sent. But God is saying to you this afternoon, if it's bringing you pain, anxiety, if it brings you sadness and sorrow, and it's adding sorrow every day. So sorrow multiplies and you have no peace. That is not a blessing. 
Because the blessing of God maketh rich. He enriches a man. He empowers. He uplifts. He maketh rich. And when the Bible talks about rich, it's not just financial wealth. Some of us have this um, wrong perception that when the Bible talks about wealth, that is talking about money. When the Bible talks about prosperity and fruitfulness, it's about money. No, it is not about money because the Bi Apostle Paul said, I want you to prosper as also your spirit as well needs to be prospering. So yes, God blesses people financially. But is your soul prospering in that relationship? Is your soul and your spirit prospering at that job? In that position that you've been fighting tooth and nail to keep? Have you ever asked yourself that question? Even things that you are holding in your home. That is now bringing you. Your home now is so cluttered. Some of you. Your homes are filled with things that you don't use it. You don't need it. But you're holding on to it. And now your home is, is, is a mess. That is not the blessing of God. It's not adding any wealth is not is is taking your peace but because you have an attachment to it you have decided that you need to keep it at all costs by all means necessary some of you are in a relationship your fiance proposed to you 10 15 years ago has not married you and you believe that you are in a blessed relationship what man of God makes a woman wait 10, 15 years, 20 years to properly marry her? And vice versa. Some of you gentlemen, you have proposed, you have told, I want to get married. I want to have a steady relationship. I don't want to, to just us being fiance and, 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 and everything. But the lady in question keeps delaying you, telling you stories. Yet you are holding on to it because you are saying that is the blessing of God. It is not. So my advice is that you seek God day and night. Ask him sincerely from your heart. If that relationship that you are in, that position that you are in, that is taking your peace, that is taking your, 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 your so you have invested so much that you, you, you have nothing left to offer or to do in order to keep it. And now you are restless. Is it from him? Is it from God? You have to bring this in prayer and fasting. Because some of you are so distracted with the, with the counterfeit. So distracting in the rat race. That you have not fully commit your life to God. To Christ. Asking him. Is this job your will for me? Why? Because you are afraid to lose it. That's why you have not gone to God. Because you are afraid that if you approach God, God will tell you the truth. And that is not what you want to hear. Some of you here, you love your boyfriend more than you love God. You love that job more than you love God. And you have forgotten your passion. You have forgotten your vocation. You have forgotten your gift. You have forgotten your assignment that God did not create you to fit in that position. He has something else for you and you don't want to hear that. So this scripture today in the book of Proverbs chapter 10 verse 22 is a wake up call for all of us. The blessing of the Lord he maketh rich and he added no sorrow with it. Are the people that you are holding on into your life, you are holding them, you are holding on to them. Are they making you rich? Are they uplifting you? Are they ushering you onto your purpose? Are they adding value to you? Are they recognizing your talents, your potentials, and, and who you are in Christ? Or are they taking away your peace? They are taking to places that you have no business being in. They are uh, teaching you things that are diabolical and demonic. And your life gets more demonic by the day. When you suggest to them something that has to do with God, they don't want to be influenced by that. But you are being influenced by their demonic lifestyle. So God is asking you, is that relationship making you rich? That job that you are fighting tooth and nail to keep, that you have no peace in the job because you don't 
get on with your co-workers you are constantly in conflict conflict conf conflict with everybody including your supervisor and you have no time for your family you come home you are exhausted and then you lash on onto your family is that the blessing of god just because he has put bread on your table food and is providing everything everything for you is it the blessing of god are you where god wants you to be are you so god is saying to you this today that if it's not adding any wealth to your life if it's not adding value to who you are if it's not ushering to your purpose it's taking your peace it's taking your your joy you have no joy once you are a happy person once you are looking forward for another day to wake up in the morning get dressed and show up and show your talents showcase your talents but now you have become a shadow of yourself and you are believing that you're in the right place and you in the right environment because why you are getting a little token you are getting little things some of you you are at risk of losing your lives because of the people that you keep around you the situations that people involve you in are not good situations are situations that devalue you take away strip your morality strip you off your values and morals these people are influencing you but you are not influencing anybody if you are in a position where you cannot influence people to do good you cannot make people better you cannot uplift others you are not living up to your truth then you are not living in the blessing that is not the blessing of god so you, we all need to wake up at some point and understand that the enemy he sends things to distract you he will give you that job where you cannot look after your children he will give you that job that you are not at home and one day you will wake up there is no home the children are in the streets husband is gone wife is gone and you will wonder why i thought i was providing i thought i was looking after my family i thought i was doing my best some of you will one day wake up in a nursing home and you're 70 80 and you're not you have not lived in your purpose according to the calling that god gave you the day you were born so saints i don't know who god is speaking to this afternoon but he's definitely speaking to somebody listen when you come to god it's not in under your terms and agreements it is god's will some of you here holding on to relationships that take your joy your peace take away your passion everything you are holding on to those people you, you are always the one making the effort you are always the one doing the most and they do the bare minimum and you are frustrated you need to take action god is waiting for some of you to give that step of faith give that step of faith because god has already even shown some of you that you are in the wrong place that you are not living according to the calling that he has for you that you are far away from your gifts because the bible says that your gifts will make room for you meaning what the gifts that god has given you they should bring you joy and if you're operating in that gift it should give you joy it should give you peace it should give you divine understanding so you can walk in the blessing every minute every time and the blessing does not only mean finances means peace that surpasses all of understanding some of you have cars you have jobs you have business you have everything you have no peace you go home to wrestle with people you go home and you lash out on your family because why you are not living in your purpose you have not sat down with god and went on your knees to ask god is this your will for me is this what i have been called to do is this my calling is this my purpose so some of you here need to wake up as soon as possible because one day what god does not want is that you on your at your old age when you are old and gray 
and you have your children and grandchildren around you, regret will begin to brew in your heart. And you will think, what have I done with my life? What have I done with my gifts that God has given me? What have I done for my God? And it will be too late. You cannot serve God because you're now too old and gray and tired. The Bible says serve him when you're young with all your strength. So let me tell you this today. God only brings a scripture or a word to uplift his people, to wake them up before it's too late. Some, some of you want to hear that powerful message, that message that is going to tickle your ears. But God is not here to tickle your ears. He's here to wake you up because time is running out for all of us. For all of us. And God does not want you to go down in your grave without fulfilling your purpose in the land of the living, without fulfilling your assignment. So I'm not here to give you just what you want to hear. The Holy Spirit is saying, if it's taking your peace, if it's taking your joy, if it's, if it's taking you away from fellowship with Christ, some of you are in the jobs that you cannot even pray. You are always running. So saints, I am not here to fear mongering anybody. It is the word of God. Proverbs 10 chapter 22. If you, this message is very hard for you, leave. No one is begging you to stay here. This is for people who want a change in their lives. They want to be closer to God. They want to receive the blessings of God. Because it's only when we get rid of the things in our lives that is not according to God that we can receive the blessings of God. The Israelites had to go through that desert because they had a lot of things in their lives, a lot of, of patterns of thinking that were wrong. They had the wrong perspective of what the blessing looked like. Let me tell you this. When the Israelites began to complain to Moses, they did not consider that they were free. They were not slaves. That is a blessing, not having a master on your, on your shoulder to tell you what to do. But what they complained, they wanted to go back to Egypt because they wanted to eat the cucumbers, the fruits and the everything that they left. They even forgot that they were slaves. So this is no joke. Some of you are in relationships, you are a slave in that relationship. Whether you are married or whether you are engaged, you are a slave. You don't get, you, you, you cannot be who you are. You cannot be your authentic self. Some of you at work, you cannot be your authentic self. Everything in your life, you have to pretend. You have to pretend that you like certain people to get on at work. You have to pretend that you are not affected when they're insulting you. You have to pretend that it's not affecting you when they diminish you, when they talk to you anyhow. Why? Because at the end of the month, you're getting a pay paycheck. So that is your con con consolation. But God is saying that rise to your purpose. I'm not saying that go and leave your job. No, I'm not saying that. Don't come here and then accuse me that I'm saying that you need to leave. No, ask God for direction. All of us need to ask God to order our steps. All of us here need to ask God to tell us what is the purpose of our meaning? What is the purpose of our lives? I know some of you are, are young and you're probably looking at me. Oh, I'm not old yet. But let me tell you this. Most people that are older generation, 50, 60, 70, they live with regret. They live with sorrow and pain because they wish they could have done things better. They wish they could have served God when they were younger. They wish they could have gone certain places when they were younger, but it's too late. God does not want you to be in that position. So if you are in a relationship and you have no peace, and you are guilt tripped in that relationship, whether a, a, a friendship, whether a loving relation, doesn't matter, whether business, it doesn't matter. Where you cannot be yourself, 
You have no means to express who you are in God. You have no means to express your gifts and your talents. Then your gifts will begin to die down. You are bearing your gifts. And God will ask you one day, you're going to have to give account of your gifts. You're going to give account of your talents to God. So saints, I want to say this. Sometimes, most times, when you are in the right path, you will have struggles. You will have a lot of adversity. Why? Because the devil will attack you when you are within purpose. Some of you, the day you decided to give your lives to Christ, the attacks began and continued. And now you feel stifled and you feel like, wow, is this even the, the, what am I supposed to be doing? Saint, let me tell you something. If you can go to bed at night and pray and sleep and have peace, you are in the right path. Because if I told you what certain people have to do in order to keep their position in jobs, in order to keep their marriages, in order to keep money in their bank accounts, if you only knew, you wouldn't do it. Some people were misled by friends that look, in order to make money, you got to sacrifice. And they went to shrines, they went to evil altars and sacrificed mother or father or siblings to have money. And when they look at themselves, there is no peace in their lives. There is no peace for them, but they look prosperous on the outside. They look like they have it all going on. So not everything that looks like a blessing is a blessing because the devil anoints people, blesses and gives them demonic gifts or corrupts the gifts that God has given them to serve him, to serve his kingdom. So what is wealth according to the Bible? That you, wealth is that you are closer to God, that your spirit man is prosperous. How does prosperity of the spirit uh, translates to peace that surpasses all understanding patience love for others forgiveness so i need to come here and tell you because the advertisement from the kingdom of darkness is very serious and they are selling you an idea a a, a concept that is not of god that uh, they, uh, there is a uh, i think there was a rapper they used to say this get rich or die trying some of you are living like that. It doesn't matter how I make money as long as I'm making money. And then you say, oh, thank you, God, for blessing me. Yet you are in prostitution. Oh, thank you, God, for blessing me. You defraud your, your, your people to get money. Oh, thank you, Lord, for blessing me. But you are corrupted in the way you are getting that money. You are not getting it through God's means and ways. They, it's not a blessing from God. Thank you for my relationship, yet you have taken somebody's husband. Thank you, Father Lord, for the food on my table, for the clothing, but you have a sugar daddy. And you think that that, that blessing comes from God. No, it doesn't. I'm sorry. I know some of you don't want to hear it, but I'm here to tell you the truth. I'm not here to, to massage your ego. Some of you have good things, but they don't come from God. And if you were to be honest with, your, with yourself, you will understand that you're not living up to God's truth. You're not living up to God's blessings. Some people don't have as much as you. Don't have your car. Don't have your house. Don't have, but they have peace. When they, 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 they leave work and they go home, their children accord them the respect as parents. When they are at work, they are fruitful in what they do. They are of benefit to somebody. But some of you have businesses that you are in that business, but it's an illegal business. And you cannot tell people, what do you do for a living? Because you're ashamed of it. Is that the blessing of God? And the only consolation that you have is social media, to go and flex on social media. Because at least somebody's going to like your car and like your new dress and your new wig. But you are not telling them that what you have to do in order to acquire those things. You're not telling people because if you told them, they would not even follow you anymore. And some of you here, you have not gotten onto that stage yet. You will have friends in your life, people that you keep company with. Yeah? That are telling you to do things that are not of God. And God is here to say to you, don't go 
on that path. Don't go on that path because it's demonic and you will not, you will suffer and you will not have peace. Some of you have not gotten into that stage. So this is a warning. Some of you, you are in that lifestyle and God is saying, come out, come to Jesus, come to me. And you are here considering this word and you want to make a turn. God is waiting for you. God is waiting for that leap of faith. God is waiting for you to do something about it. So fasting, prayer, ask the Lord, Father, I want to come out of this lifestyle. I want your blessing. I'm tired of the counterfeit. I'm tired of the faking. I'm tired of the pretending. I want your peace. Even if I have to move in into a one bedroom apartment that with a mattress, as long as I can sleep at night and have peace that surpasses all of understand, I'm willing to do it. So saints, it is a very serious situation. We need to understand that God has called mankind for a purpose. There is nobody that is born under the sun that doesn't have a purpose. Some of you got created to be a doctor and you are a lawyer because you, when you went to university, you did not ask God, it, Lord, is this what you want me to do? And now you are frustrated with that profession. It's not too late. God is saying, turn around. It's not too late. So let us come closer to God and be in the spirit of everything we do. Consult the Lord. Father in heaven, is it your will that I go into that job? I've applied, Lord. I've submitted my CV. But it is, if it is your will, Lord, give me that job. If it's not your will, let them say no. And direct me to the right place. I want to be where you want me to be. Because let me tell you this. You don't want to be in a place where the blessings of God are not being bestowed you don't want to be in a place where the blessing of god has gone and left long ago you don't want to you want to be where god has ordained you to be because that's where you will flourish that's where you will prosper daniel and his friends they didn't know they didn't want to be in captivity they didn't want to but god sent them there why he knew that that would be the only place that he will be able to speak to them, that he will be able to use them, that he will be able to make them prophets, men of valor. So he allowed them to go into captivity. He allowed them to go to Babylon because their purpose was not in Israel. Their purpose was in Babylon. God wanted to show visions of things that were to come a thousand, thousands of years after Daniel had the vision. God knew I need to speak to this man and I need them, this young man to go to Babylon because that's where I want to speak with them. So some of you are in a place where you have asked God to direct you. God is directing you, but you are feeling pains and you are feeling discomfort. Let me tell you something. God is putting you in a wine presser. He is getting the best out of you. Stay where you are. Some of you need confirmation. As long as you are within the will of God, you're not killing anybody, you're not consulting demonic witches, doing spells and incantations, you are within the will of God. Some of you, when you were in the world and doing the things of the world, you had a lot of money, you had a lot of friends, you had a lot of company, you had everything. But now that you have come to Christ, you have less and less and less. Listen, you are still within the blessing. Why? God is, has blessed that little that you have. So you have peace. Because before you didn't have peace. But now you have peace. So God is saying continue to labor in me. Continue to press on. Continue to go. Because we the children of God are like refined gold. God will refine you. If you find a diamond. And it's a, it's a, it's a raw diamond. It needs to be polished. It needs to go through a process in order to be, so, to, to be beautiful. So God is working on you. He's more interested in your character than he's interested in things. He can give, the devil can give you things to keep you distracted, to keep you away from, as long as you don't know who you are. That's what the devil wants. Because the day you find out 
who you are in Christ. What, what were you created for? You will be a dangerous man. You will be a dangerous woman in the kingdom of God and for the kingdom of darkness. You'll be a danger. But some of you, the devil doesn't want you to wake up. The enemy does not want you to live within your purpose. So he will keep you distracted. So let us ask God for his will to be manifested in us. And do a reality check today. And go to this scripture. Book of Proverbs chapter 10 verse 22. The blessing of the Lord it maketh rich. And he addeth no sorrow with it. So it doesn't matter how wealthy you are. If it doesn't matter what things you have. What power. What influence you have. If for your life is just misery and sorrow. I'm sorry to say this to you. You're not within the blessing of God. God is far away from you. And you are far away from him. But God is saying to you today. Come to me. Come to me and I will order your steps. Come to me and I will show you the way in which you should go. Come to me and I will show you what the blessing look like. So saints, let us pray. You have received the word today and I want you to keep on meditating on it. Because when you meditate on the word of God, the Holy Spirit will begin to reveal things to you about your heart, about the condition of your soul, about how you can pray. How you can fast in order to touch God, in order to get the answers that you have been asking God. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for your presence this afternoon. We thank you for your Holy Spirit that gives us peace, that surpasses all of understanding. Father Lord, I am thankful for everybody that has tuned in today, Lord God. Father Lord, I consecrate their lives, I dedicate their lives to you this afternoon, Almighty God. And I'm asking you for total forgiveness of all of our sins and transgressions. All the things that we have said, that we have done, even thoughts, Father Lord, words in which we have offended you and those made in your image. Father Lord, I pray that you will forgive us. I pray that you will be merciful unto us. I pray that you will rem remember the blood of your son Jesus being shed on the cross of Calvary for the remission of our sins and that you will be merciful to each one of us that you will cleanse us from all unrighteousness that you will blot out all of our transgressions that you will uproot from our hearts our souls and our spirits everything that has not been planted by you and is germinating evil and frustration and sorrow and pain each day Father Lord, I'm asking you this afternoon that you begin to bind with the everlasting chains of the Holy Ghost fire. Every demonic spirit that is sponsoring poverty, limitation, stagnation, lack of achievement, reproach, disobedience, rebellion, disrespect for your authority and unemployment, divorce and infirmities. And I'm asking you, Almighty God, that in Jesus' name you will cast all these principalities and rulers of darkness onto the bottomless pit of the abyss forever and ever, where they, like, they, where they can no longer continue to oppress and humiliate your children, Almighty God. Father Lord, I'm asking you this afternoon, begin to anoint their heads with your oil of gladness and establish them always over their pairs in the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, I'm asking you that you will always order their steps so that their feet will always be rooted where they should be, Father Lord. At the right place and at the right hour every day. Father Lord, I pray for their divine protection. That Father Lord, every satanic and demonic arrow that has been sent from the kingdom of darkness in order to steal, kill, and destroy. I command that satanic and demon demonic arrow to, to go back to sender by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Go back to sender by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Go back to sender by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. I command and every disobedient spirit that has been holding your children captive, Almighty God, that is making them to refuse to surrender to you. Father Lord, bind that evil and demonic spirit of disobedience and cast it onto the bottomless pit of the abyss forever and ever so that the hearts the souls and the spirits and the bodies of your children will be ready to receive godly advice sound doctrine information that comes directly from heaven 
Father Lord, I'm asking you in the mighty name of Jesus, begin to locate those who are suffering from witchcraft attacks. They are in demonic warfare every day because of witches and wizards and warlocks that have guarded against them in order to destroy them. Father Lord, I'm asking you locate those witches and wizards and warlocks and agents of darkness. Locate them this afternoon, Father Lord, wherever they have congregated in order to steal, kill and destroy your children. Father Lord, let them all fall down and die by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, let them all fall down and die by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, let them all fall down and die by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, I pray for their divine protection. Father Lord, I pray that whatever has been orchestrated in the kingdom of darkness against them will fall down and die by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Every satanic and demonic principality and ruler of darkness that is hovering on their, upon their homes, upon their finances, that is hovering upon their children and family members, bind it, Father Lord, with the everlasting chains of the Holy Ghost fire and cast it onto the bottomless pit of the abyss forever and ever and release your children this afternoon in the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, I rise this afternoon and begin to baptize each one of them with your Holy Spirit. Begin to fill them with your presence. Begin to fill them with your anointing that breaks the yoke of the enemy. Father Lord, those who need conviction to live the evil lifestyle that they have been in for years and decades that has been profitable unto them, but their soul is rotting and dying, but their spirit is dying, but their joy has gone. Father Lord, I'm asking you that the Holy Spirit that brings conviction will bring conviction to their hearts as I pray. Because it's not me that convinces people. It's the Holy Ghost that convinces people and brings them to your presence and brings them to repentance and brings them unto salvation. Father Lord, I'm asking you this afternoon that you will manifest your power in their homes. Wherever they are, let them begin to feel your presence. Let them begin to feel the anointing that breaks the yoke of the enemy. Let them begin to feel, Father Lord, your presence, Father Lord. Let your arms wrap around them, Lord God. Those in need of comfort, those in need of healing, Father Lord, heal the, the sick. Heal those, Father Lord, that are living under demonic influence infirmities from a very long time. Father Lord, I'm asking you, bind with the everlasting chains of the Holy Ghost fire, every spirit of infirmity that is holding them bound, taking their joy, taking their peace, draining their finances, bind the demonic and satanic spirit, almighty God, with the everlasting chains of the Holy Ghost fire. Cast it onto the bottomless pit of the abyss forever and ever so that they will receive the healing. So the Holy Spirit will minister healing onto their body. They are coming out of this live stream when it ends completely healed, completely healed and restored onto your perfect health for them. Because this is the, your desire that they prosper and health is prosperity. Health is prosperity. Father Lord, I'm asking you also this afternoon that those who are seeking for employment, they have been knocking on doors, yet no answer. And frustrated, frustration has begun to take control of their faith. Now they are dying in their faith. They are beginning to believe the lies of the enemy, that it doesn't matter how much they pray, that they will not succeed. Father Lord, I'm asking you in the name of Jesus, begin to bind the demons that cause doubt, the demons that cause depression and oppression. Father Lord, and cast them on to the bottomless pit of the abyss forever and ever so that you will no longer continue to oppress your children with lack of faith and i'm asking you father lord open the doors of employment to them father lord send forth their destiny helpers from the four corners of the world so that the destiny helpers will locate them father and favor them wherever they have put on their cv almighty god that they will hear good news an email a telephone call father lord they shall receive good news concerning employment concerning in that vacancy that they have been believing you for. Father Lord, those who are afflicted in marriages that are toxic, marriages that are abusive. Father Lord, I'm asking you locate them this afternoon. And release your children from the bondage in which they have found themselves in. Father Lord, bind the demonic and satanic spirits that cause domestic violence, that causes a, 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 a unrest in a house, that causes disobedience from the children. Those demonic spirits that are 
their aim is to destroy the family and the nucleus, which is mother and father. Father Lord, I'm asking you this afternoon that in the name of Jesus, you will bind these demonic and satanic forces with everlasting chains of the Holy Ghost fire and cast them all onto the bottomless pit of the abyss forever and ever so they can no longer locate your children. Father Lord, I'm asking you, open the doors of heaven onto your children. Those who have been believing you, Father, Father Lord, for a miracle in their business, let their businesses, Almighty God, become a, a, a commodity that the community in which they are in cannot live without. Create demand for their products, Almighty God. Open doors for them. Manifest your power in their lives. Father Lord, let signs and wonders begin to take place, Father Lord, as they are surrendering themselves to you. Father Lord, I'm asking you, Lord Jesus, bring people unto salvation. Bring people, Father Lord, unto marvelous light of salvation. Father Lord, I'm asking you this afternoon that you will begin, Father Lord, to anoint each one of here. Father Lord, with your oil of, of, of favor and your oil of honor, that wherever they go, Almighty God, they shall forever find favor before you and man. Father Lord, I'm asking you, bind the spirit that causes depression, the spirit that causes poverty, the spirit that causes anxiety and suicidal thoughts. Father Lord, I'm asking you in the mighty name of Jesus, bind all these demonic and satanic forces with everlasting chains of the Holy Ghost fire and cast them all onto the bottomless pit of the abyss forever and ever, never to have power, dominion, control and authority against your children. Father Lord, open doors where there are no doors. Manifest your power. Manifest your anointing that breaks the yoke of the enemy. Father Lord, I'm asking you that you will set them free, Father Lord, from every demonic and satanic captivity from the kingdom of darkness. Any demonic spirit that is saying no to their rising, I command you to fall down and die by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, I'm asking you, bind familiar spirits, Father Lord, that have been in their bloodline for centuries, five upon centuries, sponsoring, Father Lord, poverty, limitation, stagnation, sponsoring infirmities, sponsoring, Father Lord, childlessness, unfruitfulness. Father Lord, I'm asking you, bind all these satanic and demonic familiar spirits with everlasting chains of the Holy Ghost fire and cast them all onto the bottomless pit of the abyss forever and ever so they can no longer sponsor these evil patterns upon your children's lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, those who their names have been taken to shrines, have been taken to witch doctors, along, Father Lord, with their pictures along father lord with their belongings father lord i command those demonic altars and the items that were put on those altars to catch fire right now and turn to ashes in the mighty name of jesus catch fire right now and turn to ashes in the mighty name of jesus catch fire right now and turn to ashes in the mighty name of jesus father lord as i pray as they hear the sound of my voice father lord locate them wherever they are and begin to break every demonic and satanic oppression in their lives break it father lord in the name of jesus destroy it father lord in the mighty name of Jesus and release your children unto their victory and release the, your children unto their purpose. Father Lord, some of them need to be taken away from situations they have no control of, over. Father Lord, send armies of angels to re release them from that situation, to release them from that environment. Oh, Father Lord, those who are in prison, Father Lord, and in captivity in their finances, they cannot go forward. It doesn't matter what they do to prosper. It doesn't matter what they, their efforts, their efforts always go down. Money comes and goes the same day. That is a, a curse, Almighty God. I'm asking break the curse in the mighty name of Jesus. Break the curse in the mighty name of Jesus. Break the curse in the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, I'm asking you, bind every strong man and every strong woman that has been in charge of their demise, that has been in charge of them not being able to prosper, that has been in charge of them not being able to marry, that has been in charge of them not, not fulfilling their assignment. Bind the strong man, Almighty God, and the strong woman with everlasting chains of the Holy Ghost fire. Cast them all onto the bottomless pit of the abyss forever and ever, so that they will no longer continue to oppress your children so that they no longer continue to hold their blessings so that they will no longer continue to stop them from going forward father lord let every chain of poverty be broken in the mighty name of jesus let every chain of unemployment be broken in the mighty name of jesus let every chain of infirmity be broken in the mighty name of jesus restore them father lord unto your greatness restore them father lord unto their glory in the mighty name of jesus let doors begin to open for them 
Let doors begin to open. Let your will be manifested in their lives. Let purpose begin to manifest. Let your will be manifested in them. Oh, Father Lord, those who need to repent in order for destinies to be their destinies to be aligned with your word, Father Lord, with your purpose for them. Give them the courage, Almighty God, to take the bold step of faith and leave everything behind and leave everything behind to follow you, Almighty God. Father Lord, I'm asking you this afternoon that you begin to open the doors of heaven unto them, that you will begin to bless them father lord give them abundance almighty god father lord let the spirits experience joy let the spirits begin to experience joy father lord i'm asking you that you begin to bind also with the everlasting chains of the holy ghost fire every territorial spirit that is in charge of the home that is in charge of the of the workplace oh father lord bind those territorial spirits with the everlasting chains of the holy ghost fire and cast them all onto the bottomless pit of the abyss forever and ever so that they will not be able to operate in their environment causing poverty causing limitation causing stagnation father lord i'm asking you begin to bind the demon that is responsible for programming your children to death they owe everything even the clothes on their back they owe almighty god i'm asking you bind this devour with everlasting chains of the holy ghost fire cast it onto the bottomless pit of the abyss forever and ever so that they cannot locate your children anymore and oppress your children. Father Lord, I pray um, the book of Malachi 3.10, those who have given their tidings and offerings, those who have presented, Father Lord, everything before your throne, and they are asking you, Father, but I have given my offering. I have given my tithing. Father Lord, I'm asking you, bind the devourer because you promised. Bind the devourer. You promised to those who are faithful to your ministry, those who are faithful and give with a given heart. Father, Father Lord, you promised in the book of Malachi chapter 310 that you will bind the devourer, bind the spirit of devourer in our lives, bind the spirit of the devourer in our finances, bind the spirit of devourer, Father Lord, in our environment with everlasting chains of the Holy Ghost fire and cast them all onto the bottomless pit of the abyss forever and ever so that they can no longer control the finances of your children. Father Lord, I speak over their lives that money will touch money in their accounts. Father Lord, that their needs will be met. Uh, According to the, your, your, your blessings for your people, Father Lord, they make it rich, rich and add no sorrow. Oh, Father Lord, I pray. Let their hearts, Father Lord, come to you. Let their spirit prosper. Some of them, they cannot live in peace. They hear voices. At night, they cannot sleep. They have nightmares. Father Lord, bind every tormenting spirit that torments your children with everlasting chains of the Holy Ghost fire and cast it onto the bottomless pit of the abyss forever and ever, never to torment your children again. In the mighty name of Jesus, every spirit, Father Lord, of infirmity, that every time they have some money, they get sick and they have to spend and all of it in pharmacies and medication bind I'm asking you for the gifts of the Holy Spirit to be bestowed upon your people, Almighty God. Open doors where there are no doors, Father Lord. I pray that the Holy Ghost fire will locate them wherever they are, Almighty God. And they shall receive from you this afternoon, Father Lord, peace that surpasses all of understanding. Salvation above all, Almighty God. I pray, Father Lord, open doors. Those who are crying and believing you for miracles, believing you from signs and wonders. Father Lord, I'm asking you, locate every demonic and satanic familiar altar where the forefathers dedicate them to entities to keep them in poverty to keep them enslaved so that they will not be able to rise above limitation father lord i'm asking you smash those demonic altars onto irreparable pieces in the mighty name of jesus begin to smash all those demonic and satanic altars onto irreparable pieces and release your children father lord from those demonic altars from their mother's house from their father's house father lord every demonic covenant that wicked and satanic family members did when they were children in the pre they, they pretended they were visit them when they were babies but they were speaking curses over their heads and now that they are adults they are reaping the re repercussion of the curses father lord break the curse in the mighty name of jesus break those satanic curses in the mighty name of Jesus break those demonic curses in the mighty name of Jesus father Lord every witch every wizard every warlock every agent of darkness that is sitting on their rising sitting on their prosperity sitting on their gifts and their talents and potentials father Lord we unseat them by fire in the mighty name of Jesus we unseat them by fire in the mighty name of Jesus 
We all sit them by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. All those agents of darkness that are saying, that your children will not will only rise over the dead body. They are rising over the dead bodies in the mighty name of Jesus. They are rising over the dead bodies in the mighty name of Jesus. They are rising over the dead bodies in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father Lord, begin to bind every demonic and satanic serpentine spirit, Lord, that visits them at night. And every time they see this serpent in the dream, Everything goes wrong for them in their day. Opportunities go. Finances get lost. Father Lord, I'm asking you, bind this serpentine spirit with everlasting chains of the Holy Ghost fire and cast it onto the bottomless pit of the abyss forever and ever. Never to have access to your children as they sleep. In the mighty name of Jesus, I cover them with your precious blood and I speak over their lives that every satanic and demonic dream and its demonic effects is broken, it's destroyed is cancel its effects in the lives of your children in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus every diabolical plan from family members to keep them in poverty where every six months they slay animals they offer things to the kingdom of darkness for your children not to be able to rise for your children not to be able to go forward father lord destroy their altars destroy their shrines break it break it break it with the fire of the holy ghost onto irreparable pieces in the mighty name of jesus wherever the agents of darkness have taken your children's prosperity have taken your children's finances onto demonic banks onto satanic banks father lord and the blessings are there f tied and 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 hidden from them i command their blessings to come out of those demonic banks and begin to take flight and locate your children in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus father lord i'm asking you this afternoon whatever demonic and satanic food they've eaten from witches and wizards and warlocks from agents of darkness in the physical realm and also in the dream i commanded them to vomit it now in the mighty name of jesus vomit it now in the mighty name of jesus vomit it now in the mighty name of jesus receive healing in the mighty name of jesus i command healing to take place in their bodies in the mighty name of jesus I command healing to take place in their finances in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak debt cancellation over those who are in debt in the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, I'm asking you that you will connect them, Father Lord, with those who are their destiny helpers. That, Father Lord, they will be connected with people of influence, with people of power that will catapult them to the next level. I speak divine connections over their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. That they shall go places, enter places sit into places that no one else in the bloodline has ever sat almighty god promote them just like how you promoted joseph in egypt promote your children almighty god promote your children almighty god wherever they are promote them father lord father lord bring them father lord and are beyond and above every limitation i speak over their lives that they shall rise independently of what people think of them regardless of what has been done in the past regardless of what has been programmed against them i break it in the mighty name of jesus every satanic and diabolical plan of the enemy for them not to, never to rise again i break it in the mighty name of jesus i break it in the mighty name of jesus father lord bind that demonic spirit uh, that every time they are just close to get their breakthrough things go wrong it, it, it's always at the right minute that things go wrong father lord bind that demon in the mighty name of jesus bind that demon in the mighty name of jesus with everlasting chains of the Holy Ghost fire and cast it onto the bottomless pit of the abyss forever and ever never to have any access upon your children in the mighty name of jesus release your children today from every satanic and demonic embargo upon their finances upon their, their projects upon their businesses every satanic and demonic embargo i command you to die in the mighty name of jesus die by fire in the mighty name of jesus die by fire in the mighty name of jesus father lord release your children from satan 
satanic and demonic captivity in their health, in their finances, in their relationships. Release them, Almighty God, with your power. Release them, Almighty God, with your power. There shall not be any barren in the land. Those women believing for the fruit of the womb. Father Lord, whatever has been tying the womb, stopping them from getting pregnant, stopping them from conceiving, and they're now getting older and older, no progress. Father Lord, I pray, open the wombs in the mighty name of Jesus. Open the wombs in the mighty name of Jesus. Just like how you open the womb of Sarah, open to them, Almighty God. Open to them, Father Lord, that they will conceive because you said in your word, go and be fruitful and multiply. I speak to their wombs, go, be fruitful and multiply in the name of Jesus. Go, be fruitful and multiply in the mighty name of Jesus. Those who have businesses, but their businesses always collapse and then they have to have another idea and another idea and another idea fails. Father Lord, I speak against that pattern of defeat. I curse that pattern of defeat in the mighty name of Jesus. Every padlock on their business that clients don't want to buy from them. People don't recognize their business. They go to the next one to buy. Father Lord, destroy the padlock over their business with the Holy Ghost fire. Let that padlock burn to ashes in the mighty name of Jesus. And I command that business to open and to be located and that demand to take place and clients to locate it in the mighty name of Jesus. Release your children this afternoon from satanic and demonic patterns father lord of defeat everything they put their hands to do is always defeat and they are programmed to fail because of curses because of witchcraft because father lord of satanic and diabolical plans from wicked family members wicked elders father lord i'm asking you bind these demons that is sponsoring this pattern of defeat with everlasting chains of the holy ghost fire and cast them all onto the bottomless pit of the abyss, never to continue to sponsor defeat in the lives of your children. And let all those that are responsible for their downfall, those who are sitting down in their covens, laughing and mocking because they are not rising, Father Lord, let them all fall down and die by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, let them all fall down and die by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, let them all fall down and die by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, I speak over their lives prosperity in the mighty name of Jesus. I I speak wealth over their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak healing over their bodies in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak advancement over their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. They shall fulfill their purpose in the land of the living. No matter what people have said, no, what, no matter who has vowed that they will never rise. Father Lord, I speak that they are coming up. They are coming up. They are coming up onto their purpose in the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, I'm asking you this afternoon that your blessings of Abraham will rest upon their heads, Almighty God. I'm asking you, Father Lord, that you will always, Father Lord, promote them. No matter what people do against them. That those who are working against them will begin to work for them. Though the situations that once cooperated for their fall will begin to cooperate to their rising. In the mighty name of Jesus, I speak victory over their lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, I speak healing. I speak restoration. I speak that some of them will be shifted from where they are to and catapult them to where you want them to be. Some of them, the employer will give them another branch to go and move and work there some of them the employer is gonna send them to another city some of them father lord will receive a better job proposal father lord some of them will receive a new suitor father lord that takes them into high uh, consideration adds value almighty god father lord i pray promotion i pray father lord that they will advance they will advance father lord in the gifts that you have given them father lord that the holy spirit will begin to guide them and they will no longer walk Father Lord, blindfolded, but they shall receive, Father Lord, deliverance, clear vision, so they can see very well where they're going, Almighty God. I thank you for their lives, Father, and I'm asking you, Father Lord, protect them, guide them, deliver them from all evil, Almighty God. All that their steps, continue to uplift them. Don't let them, Father Lord, slide, Father Lord, and fall away, but Father Lord, hold them with your hands. Father Lord, uphold, up, uh, 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 hold them, Father Lord. Continue to, Father Lord, protect them. Continue to, Father Lord, speak to them. Father Lord, I baptize 
baptize them with your Holy Spirit. Fill them with your power. Fill them, Father Lord, with your, with, with your peace that surpasses all of understanding. Father Lord, let them feel your presence today. Let them feel the presence of the Holy Spirit. Let them begin to feel your power. Let them begin to move, Father Lord, with the anointing. Father Lord, I speak that the Holy Ghost fire will locate them this afternoon and burn to ashes everything around them that has been cooperating for their failure, for their demise. Oh, Almighty God, let your spirit flow in their atmosphere, inside of them, to the outside, Almighty God. I pray in Jesus' precious name. And I thank you, Father, because I know that it is done in Jesus' precious name. Amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah. If you have prayed with me today, know this. You are coming out of your situation. You shall begin to experience the blessings of God, not the counterfeit. The counterfeit has been removed. The counterfeit has been taken away. But your Father in heaven, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, there is somebody here on this live stream, and you are a gentleman, and you have experienced severe pain in your stomach, and it has been a month. You have not gone to hospital, but you have even begun to cough blood and you are afraid to go to hospital. You are afraid that you're going to hear a report that it will not be favorable to you. It will be a very evil report. I want you to write me on the chat. Identify yourself by writing me and receive your healing this afternoon. In the mighty name of Jesus, there is a gentleman here. You have stomach pains and he's been hurting you a lot and it's been a while and you have not gone to doctors yet. You have been coughing and even a bit of blood came out and you are afraid to go to the doctors. Identify yourself by writing me on the chat so and receive healing this afternoon. I want you to write me. You receive healing healing this afternoon from the lord jesus father lord i'm asking you touch this gentleman father lord this afternoon with your mighty hands almighty god with your healing hands and healing almighty god let healing begin to take place in the lives of those who have identified themselves i command their stomachs to vomit every diabolical and demonic food poisoning they have consumed from the kingdom of darkness and from the physical world in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus lord touch touch him father lord touch them they are two gentlemen touch them father lord and heal them and restore them and give them peace and give them peace father lord and divine revelation almighty god and give them peace father lord and healing and restoration almighty god i speak healing they are healed by your stripes in the mighty name of jesus by your stripes they are healed lord jesus i speak healing i speak restoration over their lives i speak healing and i speak restoration over their lives in the mighty name of jesus there is a person here on this live stream today and you had an argument with your neighbor not so long ago and once since you had that argument with your neighbor, you feel tormented in your own home and things have been very difficult for you because that neighbor, he said threats to you, like, you know, spiritual threats that you, you, your life will never go forward, like cursed you. And you had an argument with that neighbor. And since then, you have diabolical presence in your home. Things in your life are going bad. And that neighbor, he, 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 he cursed you when you were having that argument with the neighbor. I want you to identify yourself very quickly. You, I pray for you. Father Lord, I'm asking you this afternoon that you will locate that witch that has pronounced curses over your children, the neighbor. Father Lord, wherever they are in the coven plotting and planning against your children because of the argument. I, Father Lord, I'm asking you, locate their coven. Locate their covens in the mighty name of Jesus and let them all burn to ashes in the mighty name of Jesus. Let their covens receive the Holy Ghost fire and be burned to ashes in the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, let those witches who have cursed your children fall down and die by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Let them all fall down and die by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Let them all fall 
down and die by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. And we command the curse to return to them in the mighty name of Jesus. We command the curse to return to them in the mighty name of Jesus. We command the curse to return back to them in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, fire locate your children and camp around them. Let the fire of your Holy Ghost be in their homes, be in their lives, and in the lives of their children. Protect them, Almighty God, from the hands of the wicked one. Father, Lord, from the plans of the enemy. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. There is somebody here on this live stream. And since the pandemic, things gotten so bad with you that you have moved in with, with your in-laws. And the situation has become unbearable because there is humiliation. You always have to be a target of humiliation. They don't target your partner, but they target you and they blame you for everything. And you have prayed to God and you have prayed to God to get you out of that situation, to get you out of that situation. You have prayed to God and you have asked God, Lord, please make a way out for me. I cannot take this situation. I'm tired of being humiliated, yet I am calling upon you and nothing has happened. Identify yourself by writing me on the chat. Just write me, you that you have moved back with your in-laws. So you have moved with your in-laws during the pandemic and you are a victim of humiliation from them and many other things i pray for you father lord i'm asking you locate that daughter that prayed to you almighty god asking for a way out almighty god asking for a way out of her situation father lord those who have identified themselves you know who they are father lord provide for them father lord provide a way out of that situation father lord i pray that you will put the in-laws to shame by arranging accommodation for them by by prospering them in a way that they will be able to move out and get the victory of open the, 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 the door of a new apartment, of a new home for them and their family. Father Lord, don't allow your children to continue to be humiliated, to continue to be persecuted, to continue to be diminished in their, in, in, in their identity, in who they are. Show them a rise, Father, and provide for your children. Arise, O oh Lord, and put their enemies to shame. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you, Father Lord, because I know that they are coming out. I know that they are coming out in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. There is a lady here, and lately you have been having dreams. God has been telling you to leave your, your long-term relationship, but you are continuing in that relationship regardless of what the Lord has told you. You have seen it in dreams that you need to leave, yet you have not left. God is here to say what you are waiting for what are you waiting for the order is to march forward and you have not marched forward why have you not marched forward i want you to write me in the chat say it's me i have heard god saying that i need to move to, to, to leave that relationship and move on with my life and i have not done it receive from god power Receive from God anointing to move forward. Receive courage to move forward. Father Lord, these children of yours that are identified. Father Lord, I'm asking you that you will not let them be confused. Because you have not given them the spirit of confusion. If they are confused, it is because they are living under demonic and satanic oppression. There is no confusion in your kingdom. There is no confusion. So I pray almighty God, give them power and anointing Father Lord to leave that relationship. Give them, Father Lord, the anointing and provide for them that, they, they, that, that as they take the bold step, Lord, they will not lack any good thing that you will provide for them spiritually and also physically and materially. You will provide for them, Almighty God, that they will not lack any good thing, that as they take the bold step of faith, they will be covered by you. Their backs will be covered. Their front will be covered because you will walk behind them and in front of them as a column of cloud by day and a column of fire by night ordering their steps showing them the way and guiding them father lord in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus there is a gentleman here this afternoon and although you are married and there is nothing wrong with your wife you have now begun an affair with somebody and that person is high maintenance and now you are in a situation that you are failing with your marital duties you are not helping your family the way you should. And if your wife is beginning to suspect 
that something is wrong with you. You need to repent. Come to Jesus this afternoon. Say, Sister Dalila, it's me. I have entered in this relationship. I want a way out. But now I am so involved and engulfed in this situation. I don't know what to do. You need to give your life to Christ. You need to repent. Come to Jesus. It is never too late. God is not going to point at your sin to condemn you. He is only here to say that gain eternal life. Don't condemn yourself. Don't condemn yourself. But come to Jesus, repent and go back to your normal life. And ask God to give you the courage to live a life that is pleasing unto him. I want you to identify yourself by writing me on the chat. And let me pray for you. No one is here to judge you. No one is here to see who you are. We are I'm just want you to identify yourself so that I can pray for you. So that I can pray for you concerning this situation. Don't identify yourself later. Do it quickly because there are people who are waiting as well for God to speak to them. So identify yourself very quickly in the chat by writing me. You are a gentleman and you have, you have now a mistress in your life. That is a, a high maintenance, somebody that is taking drain in your finances and you are now failing with your duties as a husband. Just write me in the chat and come to Jesus. This is not a call for condemnation, but is a, a, a call of salvation to you and of repentance. God is going to bring you out of that rat of that maze. He's going to bring you out of that situation, that entanglement in the mighty name of Jesus. But you ought to identify yourself by writing me on the chat and receive the victory this afternoon and be set free and let that guilt leave your heart and your soul and your spirit. Just identify yourself very quickly. Don't be holding the chat. Type me. No one is here to monitor you or look what you are doing. No. If you did witchcraft, all you need to do is repent and don't do it anymore. And pray every day and uh, renounce the kingdom of darkness. Renounce the kingdom of witchcraft and repent. And God will surely give you salvation. No strings attached. He's not here to condemn you. He wants you to come to his marvelous light. And if you want the marvelous light of God, you must repent and make things right with him. So this gentleman, you are, uh, yes, you can repent right now as I speak to you. I'll do a prayer later on. There is a gentleman here, identify yourself. You have now engaged, you, have, you are in a relationship, you have a mistress. And that mistress is a, 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 a um, high maintenance. And all your money is going to her. And you cannot properly look after her anymore. Repent yourself, come to Jesus and write me on the chat. You don't have to be embarrassed. Nobody is here to watch to to take uh, your name or do anything against you just write me on the chat very quickly say me me on the chat just write me you are married and you are in a extra marital relationship with a lady you need to repent come to jesus i'm not gonna call your name again i'm not gonna call again i'm gonna go forward so i'm giving you one last opportunity type me on the chat say sister it's me I am identifying myself because I need a way out of my situation. The only way you can, you, thank you, Jesus, for you giving your name. Father Lord, I'm asking you to take hold of this servant of yours that has now engaged in a relationship that is extramarital and is suffering great pains, Father Lord. As he repents, Father Lord, I'm asking you to take him out of that relationship, to break that relationship. Father Lord, destroy that relationship. And Father Lord, let him start afresh back with his wife and children, Almighty God. Restore him, Almighty God, onto the purpose in which you have created him, Father. And as he has repented, Father Lord, bless him and keep him and give him the courage to continue to live, Father Lord, for you and to do what is right before you, Almighty God. There is a lady here. You are an agent of darkness. As we speak, you are a person that some people pay you to do spells and you have inherited this from your grandmother. Your mother did not inherit it. You inherited from her and you do spells for people. You do readings for people. You do all sorts of things and you think you are helping people. God is saying, repent, come to me today, because if you continue to do those spells and be my enemy, you will perish and go to hell. You are here listening. And you are feeling the conviction of the Holy Ghost. All you need to do is to type me on the chat and I will pray for you. You are an agent of darkness, but you don't see yourself as that. Because you think that those familiar powers that you have 
are good because it's helping people. You are helping women to, to get married by doing love spells, love charms. You mix different things and you burn things and you help people. You think you are helping people. You are not helping. These demonic spirits are just waiting for the right opportunity to drag you to hell. God is here to say that he is giving you salvation. He's calling you to come to him so that he can make you his servant, his disciple, so you can serve him with all your life, with all your soul. Come to Jesus today. You, the one that has been identified, you are a lady and you inherited these powers, these magic powers from your grandmother. You are here on this live stream and you can listen to the sound of my voice. Just please identify yourself by writing me on the chat. You don't want to write me because you think that those powers, they don't offend God. You think that those powers are good because they're helping people. God is saying to you today, those powers are not from me. Those powers are not helping anybody, are holding men captive and women captive because some of the spells that you did are holding people together that shouldn't be together, are causing problems and are leading people astray from God's presence. Identify yourself very quickly. I'm not going to call you again. I'm not because I have other people here that need a word from God and I need to pray for people as well. Just write me on the chat. Me. You, the person that has inherited magic powers from your grandmother, and you do love spells for people, you do treatments for people to go ahead in life, get jobs, do this and do that. Identify yourself by writing me on the chat. Come to Jesus today. You are not going to have this opportunity another time. You don't, you, Father Lord, this lady that has these familiar spirits that are using her, Father Lord, to do spells and charms for people. Father Lord, I pray for her salvation. As she has identified herself, that is a sign of repentance. Father Lord, I'm asking you, locate her wherever she is. Father Lord, that she will fully commit to you. Father Lord, show her that those powers are using her to drag her to hell that one day she will be in hell with whom she's serving which is satan father lord i pray that all of those identified father lord let the holy spirit begin to bring conviction into their hearts their souls and their spirits let salvation manifest in their hearts let salvation manifest in their spirits father lord i pray for their salvation all of you that want to come out of witchcraft life and powers, and you have witchcraft powers because you inherited from your family members, pray after me. Say this, Father Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, I repent of all of my sins and the sins of my ancestors against you. Father Lord, I renounce the evil powers I inherited from my ancestors. I renounce them. I curse them to death. I break the agreement and destroy the covenants and break the covenants in the mighty name of jesus i'm asking you for salvation lord jesus cover me with your precious blood help me to come out of this situation victorious give me salvation lord jesus help me father lord to be released from these satanic and demonic powers father lord i pray in the mighty name of jesus i want to encourage you all that you have surrendered your lives to Christ. You have come to the marvelous life of salvation because you've repented because the Holy Spirit brought conviction into your hearts. Number one, buy a King James Bible. Buy a Bible. Begin to read the word of God because you cannot serve a God that you don't know. You cannot serve a God that you don't know its principles and his commandments. You need to learn the word of God. Secondly, look for a church that is not preaching just prosperity, go, go, uh, 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 prosperity gospel, money and miracles and wonders. Six, sit, look for a church that is going to teach you who Jesus is. That is going to teach you how to walk in Christ. That is going to help you with deliverance because you need deliverance from those demonic powers. Unfortunately, I'm too far. But where you are, there are saints that are ready to pray for you, pray for your deliverance. And your life will never be the same again because you have taken the bold step of faith to come to Jesus. God will honor you. He will never abandon a sh lost sheep that has turned to him. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. There is a lady here. You have a very good life. You have a sugar daddy that is paying for your studies. is paying for your accommodation in, in, in college. is paying for everything for you. But that is a married man. He has his wife. And he is, you, God has spoken to you about it. To leave that relationship. 
you need to leave that relationship. Although it's a financial great um, benefit to you, it is at the cost of somebody's life. Somebody is crying. Somebody at night is praying against you. All right? So you need to come to Jesus. Identify yourself by writing me on the chat. Say, it's me, Sister Dalila. I am in that relationship and I want out because I can see what I'm doing wrong. And I want to make amends. I want to start afresh. God does not want you to be with that old man anymore. You should be with somebody that has been ordained by God. You shouldn't be somebody's toy it's just because they give you money and pay for things for you. God has better for you. Just write me on the chat. Don't be ashamed. People with worse situations than you and, and, and have identified themselves and received salvation from God and an answer. Just write me on the chat. Say, Sister Dalila, it's me. I do have a sugar daddy that is paying, that is sponsoring me. So write me on the chat. Just two, just one word, me. M-E, write me. And receive from God the boldness to come out of that situation. And divine provision that as you come out of that situation, you will not lack any good thing. God will be looking after you even better than what that man is doing for you. God will open the doors for you. And you will not like. Don't be afraid. Take the bold step this afternoon. Please identify yourself very quickly. I'm going in, in a few minutes. And I want you to identify yourself, young lady. Identify yourself. Because God will bring you out of that relationship. And he will provide for you that you will not lack. You will not have to drop your education and the things that you are doing. But God will sponsor you. God will intervene in your situation and sponsor you. But it is your choice. I cannot force you. So write me on the chat. Holy Spirit, bring conviction, I pray to this young lady, that she will identify herself today. And Father Lord, that she will come out of that life. She is here and she needs to identify herself. Father Lord, I pray that she will identify herself. You young lady that has a sugar daddy, identify yourself. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus this afternoon and he will take care of you. He takes care of everyone. I gone through education, God provided. Everybody here, most people gone through education, God provided. So you are not going to be the only one that God is not going to provide for. Just identify yourself. It's not worth your life. You're wasting your life with an older man because of money. That is not the plan of God. Come to Jesus, repent. Accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. People who are, it's you. Father Lord, thank you for your daughter that is coming onto your presence this afternoon. I pray for her, Father Lord, that the Holy Spirit will give her, Father Lord, boldness, will give her the courage to leave that relationship, Father. Father, and as she leaves and takes the bold step of faith, provide for her education, provide for her accommodation, provide for all her needs, Father Lord, even more than what this man is doing, that she will have no need to do anything that is against and contrary to you, Almighty God. I pray for her deliverance. I pray, Father Lord, that you will open doors, Father, that you will unlock, Father Lord, her blessings, that from now on as she repents, her life will never be the same again. I cover her with your precious blood, O Lord Jesus, and I pray that you will strengthen her. I pray that you will bring her peace, Father Lord, that surpasses all of understanding. Father Lord, I'm asking you, release your children from poverty. Release your children from limitation and stagnation and lack of achievement and reproach. In the mighty name of Jesus, those of you who need a financial breakthrough, you are crying to God because you can never make money. There is poverty that is generational. There is things that you can do according to the Bible to tap into God's blessings. Number one, re, um, surrender your life to Jesus. You have to be born again. Secondly, the same way that the financial system of this world operates, right? The financial system of God has its rules and regulations. You look at me here. Every time God blesses the work of my hands, I take 10% and I give it to him. I have a ministry. I have a pastor, right? Although I minister, I have and I give his ministry my 10%. Why? Because I see that I am helping to gain souls for the kingdom of Christ. Number two, you can pray for those who are preaching the word of God as well. That unlocks blessings. Number three, help the poor. Help the needy. Help the, those who are helpless. Some of you want God to bless you, but you are not, not a blessing to anyone. When you see beggars on the streets, you can't give them anything. 
but you are asking God to prosper you. It doesn't work like that, saints. It does not. A person that does not know how to give will never receive from God. The first fruits, anything that we have, any money that we have made, it's God that gives power to acquire wealth. Right? Listen, it doesn't matter what arrow people throw at a righteous man. A man that is after God's heart. A man that is after God's God's business. What is God's business? God business God's business is the salvation of souls. God is concerned about the lost sheep. You was if you are sponsoring people to gain souls for the kingdom of darkness, you will receive your reward. God will fight your battles. This is how to come out of poverty. Some of you need to look for orphanages. There are online orphanages I support. My husband supports as well. You have children that I need die of cancer. You don't help, but you want God to bless you. Bless you for what? God is not going to bless somebody that is stingy. God is not going to bless you for you just to still sit down. What are you doing with the blessing? So if you are in a, if you, okay. Say, for example, you are looking for a job, right? You are looking for a job. You want God to open the door of employment for you. Take an offering. Pray. Say, Lord, I am going to look for a job or I have sent uh, my, my CV. I'm asking you to open a door for me, but I'm dedicating this offering and I'm going to look for a widow, widows and orphans. As I bless them, almighty God, bless me as well so I can continue to do more for those who are in need. Will God not move his heart towards you? Will God not help you? Will God not help you? Make a covenant with God. See, there is always somebody that is less off than you, that you can be of help. You want God to help you help people. Help his ministry. Help those who are helping, who are gaining souls for the kingdom of God. Support them with your prayers. Support them with your words of encouragement. So this is how you can break from poverty. Right? And God is concerned about how we spend our money. Some of you, God blesses you, and then you will take that money and go to the club. You take the, the holy money of God and take it to the club. You take the holy money of God, go to fornication. You take the holy money of God, watching things that, that Netflix, paying subscription to watch demonic films and even pay for pornographic websites with the money of God. Every mon money that comes into your hands, it is God that has given you and you are going to have to be accountable to him. We are to be good stewards of what God gives us. If you want God to bless you, do what he's telling you to do. Me, any money that God gives me, the first thing I say to myself, Lord, I will not defraud you of your first fruits. Let me not rob God. I take my 10% and that is the first thing I do. Then I take my offering. And I give it. I sponsor either a, a, a orphanage or a, a whatever. For God to also to open my doors. So that when Satan, the enemy, goes to accuse me, God is gonna say, She has give she she is sponsoring my work. I will I will I will move on her behalf. You want to move the heart of God, follow his commandments. You want to receive the blessings of God. Connect with what God is doing. Give your 10% to God. And God will bless you. That's the, that's the way to come out of poverty. All right? We will never like any good thing. Even before you utter a word about a need, God will provide it for you. So saints, I want to call one more person here. And this person, you are feeling a severe tightening in your chest since we began the prayer service. You are feeling a tightening in your chest, a, a, a compression in your chest. Identify yourself. I need to pray for you before I go. You that have the tightening in your chest, you're feeling pain in your chest. And it started as soon as I began to pray. Identify yourself by type me. Father Lord, I'm asking you locate this servant of yours. Those who are feeling the tightening in their chest. Father Lord, bind the principalities and rulers of darkness. They are manifesting in their bodies. As a form of a pain in the chest. Bind it Father Lord with the everlasting chains of the Holy Ghost fire. And cast them out of your children this afternoon. And 
and, and cast them onto the bottomless spit of the abyss forever and ever. Where they can no longer torment your children and oppress them. I command every satanic and demonic force that is oppressing the children of God with tightening in the chest. I command you to leave that body right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Go back to the bottomless pit of the abyss where you came from. In the mighty name of Jesus. 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 And to, to finish, there is a gentleman here. God has, you, you have a financial need, right? And God gave you a name of a person that you need to contact. And God has already told you that that person will help you. But you were afraid because you, you don't really have much, you know, proximity with that person. You're not really that close. And when you heard that, that thought, it was the Holy Spirit, God speaking to you. And you brushed it off. You said, nah, I'm not even that close to him. How am I going to call him, presenting him my needs? God is saying to you that you heard it clearly. Go to that person and they will aid you. They will be, they already have been touched by God. The Holy Spirit is in them to be your destiny helper at this very time and to help you with that financial difficulty, that situation that is in your life. Write me in the chat so I can pray for you that you will have the boldness to go to that destiny helper. And that they will help you. Okay. I run, I want you to write me in the chat. What I'm saying is just pure confirmation. It's not new. You have heard that God is, has told you to go to a certain per person to ask for help. But you were afraid because you are not close to that person. All I need you to do is write me in the chat. You. Okay. Father Lord, I pray for that lady that has identified herself. I don't know if it, the person that has identified. Father Lord, I'm asking you, give them the boldness to go and approach Father Lord and make the call. Don't let them be afraid because this is their destiny helper. And you have ordained them to help. Make that phone call, beloved. God is already working in their hearts. They will help you. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I speak over your life that your destiny helper will be favorable to you. Receive your blessing this afternoon and make that phone call. You are victorious in Jesus name. Go forward and, and prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let me pray for you before I go. Father Lord, thank you for this wonderful program today. Thank you for the manifestation of your Holy Spirit. Thank you for your word, Father Lord, that has given us a new perspective of what wealth in the kingdom is. Of what prosperity in the kingdom is. Father Lord I'm asking you this afternoon. Locate your children once again. Wherever they are. Cover them in your precious blood Lord Jesus. Sanctify them. Purify them. Justify them with your precious blood. Father Lord I'm asking you that you will shine your face upon them. And be merciful unto them. I pray that doors will begin to open unto them. Father Lord I pray that today. The impossible will become possible to them. I speak over their lives. That every situation that has been speaking against them will begin to cooperate to their rising. I speak over their lives that their destiny helpers will locate them today and bless them according to your will and purpose for their lives. Father Lord, they are more than conquerors in Jesus' name. They are victorious, they are above and never beneath. They will always and shall forever be the head and not the tail. They are acquiring this afternoon power to get wealth and power to get wealth comes from you. So, Father Lord, equip them. Father Lord, anoint them. Bless the work of their hands. Let everything that they touch prosper. Let the works of their hands multiply. Be let them be fruitful in the land of the living. I speak over their lives that they shall be like the, riv that like the palm trees planted by the river banks. They will not be moved, neither to the left or to the right. They shall always produce good fruit in season and out of season. I speak that they will never lack generations and generations after them they will never lack because they have surrendered their lives to you they have a covenant with you so father lord look after your children deliver them from cycles of poverty deliver them from cycles of humiliation that has been in their generation in their bloodline for a long time father lord deliver them give them father lord what they have requested from you father lord help your children those who have come to salvation almighty god I pray that they will never turn back. I pray that the Holy Spirit will empower and uplift them and anoint them never to go back to their vomit, Almighty God. 
I pray for divine protection. Deliver them from accidents, from fires, from, from, from kidnappers. Deliver them from fraud activities, Father Lord. Deliver them from the noise of pestilence, Father Lord. And every demonic and satanic arrow prepared against them from the kingdom of darkness. Father Lord, I speak life over their bones, over their blood. Blood transfusion to those who are sick. DNA transfusion that they shall receive a new identity today. The identity of a champion. They shall, Father Lord, testimony shall never depart from their homes. Testimony shall never depart from their homes, Almighty God. And they shall return, not to cry, but to testify of your goodness and your mercy in the land of the living. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for them. Amen, amen, and amen. To all of you that have blessed me with your offering, may you never lack any good thing. Money will touch money in your accounts. That account that you use to give me something will never run dry, but it shall multiply. God, as you were busy sowing, is taking care of each one of your needs. You are coming out of this live stream victorious. You will never lack any good thing. Those of you who are not in position of giving me, but have been praying, have been pouring into my life. You will not go without your reward. For the word of God says, there has never been a person that has given even a cup of water to a prophet and went without his reward. Receive your reward in the mighty name of Jesus. Your reward does not come from me, but comes from God. As you are supporting me, God will arise and fight for you. And I pray that the, the same blessings of Abraham in Deuteronomy 28 be bestowed upon you and your children and your household. Saints, thank you for those who have subscribed to my YouTube page as well. Those of you who have not, please go to my bio here on TikTok. Press the icon for the YouTube, subscribe, follow me there as well. The catch-ups for all of the lives here, live streams are on YouTube available to you. Should you by any circumstance miss the live stream, it will be posted there, a catch-up. And also, um, you can create a playlist at night, so when you go to bed, prayers will be going up for you okay and um yeah so that's it so thank you once again for your support continue to follow me every day i will always bring a word from god to all of you to keep you in the narrow path to keep growing in christ and to keep getting strength from him to keep going forward god is already fighting for you you have seen salvation has taken place even agents of darkness have given their lives to Jesus today and they don't want to continue to be deceived. So saints, this is a blessing. When souls come to Jesus, it's a blessing. More than any wealth, anything, it's the salvation of the soul of, of, of a human being that God created in his image to worship him. So there is great, great rejoice in heaven, a great party, a great celebration for all of you who decided to accept Christ today as your Lord and Savior. There is rejoicing and angels are rejoicing. And all those of you who support this ministry, you have helped to gain those souls to the kingdom of God. Special thanks to my moderators, Sister Jolene um, and my husband Marcelo. Thank you. Special thanks to you for helping me. May God bless you and reward you and give you peace. Another thing I want to say, if you feel any fire in your hands or any fire in your feet, that is the anointing of Jesus, the fire of the Holy Ghost. Take this opportunity to lay hands over your children, over your home, because the anointing is there. That is a testament of the anointing of God. You feel fire in your hands. You feel a warmth in your hands. So that is a testament of the presence of God. So shalom, saints, and God bless you all. And thank you also very much for everything. Shalom. It shall forever be well with you, saints, in Jesus' name. Amen.